Hi everyone in the world of cloud computing, IoT, AI and fintech. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Here are a few news highlights from this week in the fast moving world of cloud computing. And thank you all for your support on social media about last week's news. And watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with myself and David Limpicum. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share this channel with your friends and your colleagues. This week, ANZ deploys Azure Stack to keep its processing in-house. Microsoft's recently released on-premise version of its Azure Public Cloud service is using the system to avoid having to move masses of data for a new application into the public cloud. Vijay Tiwari, Principal Group Program Manager at Microsoft Azure Stack said that the bank is trying to build a cloud application around data they have in their data centers and it is not practical to move all that data into the public cloud. They have used Azure Stack to put a front end on that data using web apps and Kubernetes and modern cloud paradigms and put that in front of the back end systems that contain all the data. Amazon launches AR VR development platform Sumerian. Amazon Web Services has launched a browser based development platform which allows users without specialized programming or 3D graphics expertise to create and run virtual and augmented reality applications. Currently in invitation only preview mode, Amazon Sumerian allows users to build scenes and import objects in its WGL and WVR based editor and script the logic that controls how objects behave. Sumerian runs on popular virtual and augmented reality hardware including Oculus Rift, HTC, Vive iOS mobile devices through support for Apple's AR kit with support for Android AR Core coming soon, the company said. This week, an audit slams South Australia and Victorian government agencies, including Victoria Police, who are relying on obsolete tech. An investigation by the Victorian Auditor General's Office has concluded that 79% of the IT systems relied on by the Victorian Police to support critical business functions are obsolete. A Vago Audit of Disaster Recovery, or DR, preparedness stated that Victoria Police have not effectively managed the risk of system obsolescence, as shown by the high percentage of its critical systems that are now obsolete and that the disaster recovery processes are not robust enough to effectively and efficiently recover all critical systems after a disruption. Victoria Police accepted the findings of the audit, but in response to Vago said that it had already commenced a significant program of work to enhance its DR capability. A big congratulation this week goes to Salesforce.com's Mark Benioff. According to Compensation Culture and Career Monitoring website Comparably's latest survey among large companies, billionaire tech businessman Mark Benioff, the CEO of Customer Relations Management and cloud services company Salesforce.com is ranking number one top CEO in the USA. Jason Nazar, the CEO of Comparably said, as the original founder of Salesforce, Mark has a deep connection with the product and employees that uniquely inspires his team. Besides continuing to grow a massively successful public company, he has been a dynamic leader and consistent voice of company culture issues. One of those issues has been closing the gender pay and promotion gap, an issue that has been the top of mind given the large number of sexual harassment allegations coming to light in the entertainment, politics and business world. Benioff pledged to close the gap in 2015 and by early 2017, Salesforce said it had achieved equal pay, promotion and opportunity for female employees. Well done, Mark. This week, it's been reported that Facebook is turning to artificial intelligence to detect if someone might be contemplating suicide. Facebook already has mechanisms for flagging posts from people thinking about harming themselves. The new AI feature is intended to detect such posts before anyone reports them. The service will scan posts and live video with a technique called pattern recognition. For example, comments from friends such as, are you okay, can indicate suicidal thoughts. Facebook has already been testing the feature in the US and is making it available in most other countries. The European Union is excluded though, but Facebook won't say why. 
I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, Cloud Computing Recruitment Specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech, and AI. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's Cloud Computing News, and please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter and Instagram. And until next week, be good, be safe, and keep our clouds secure.